Hello, today I'll teach you how to count pairs of numbers which will give us a certain sum. So let me explain the question. We'll be having two inputs. One is the array and one is the value sum. So we are to find a pair of number in this array whose sum will give us this value or we say 6. So if you take this value and this value if you pair them up and add them it will give us the value 6 so it is a match so it means we have one pair of number which will give us the sum as 6 and in this way we have to find different pairs so let's say, take this pair of number so if we add these two numbers it will also give you a sum of 6 so these this is another pair which is giving us the sum as 6 so this is one more pair we'll say we have now two pairs of number so in this way we have to find how many pairs of number exist in this array which will give us the sum as 6 so now let's discuss the logic so for this first i will need a variable called count which will be initially 0 Whenever I find a pair of numbers which will give me the sum as 6, I am going to increment this counter. That is point number 1. Next thing is, I will be having two loops. One will be i and this i will be fixed here and this j will be moving from i plus 1th location that is from this location till the end of the array. Now j will move from i plus 1 to end of the array and I am going to pair this value with every other value. So this value is 1, I am going to pair this value with 5, then 7, then minus 1, then 5. So I am going to fix i over here, I am going to move j from here till the end of the array and each time I am going to pair i with j. So I will get these pairs. So in this pair, I am going to sum them up and I am going to check if it is give me, giving me the value 6. If it is giving me 6, I am going to increment the counter by 1. So let's see, 1 plus 5 is 6. So I will increment counter by 1. Now I will check 1 plus 7. It is not 6. 1 minus 1, not 6. 1 plus 1 is again 6. So I will increment my counter with 1 so now my count is 2 now since we have checked all the pairs with 1 next is I will increment i to this location so now i will be pointing to here now j will start from this location that is i plus 1th location till the end of the array now I am going to pair I am going to fix this value and I am going to pair it with all the remaining values so now, now the pairs will look like this. It will be 5 paired up with 7, 5 paired up with minus 1 and 5 paired up with this 5. So again now I am going to check if their sum is going to give me 6. If they give me 6, I am going to increase my counter. After all of this is done, I am going to increment i to this location. Now my j will move from this location till the end of the array. So this is what I am going to repeat it and then I am going to create pairs of number, I am going to check their sum and if their sum is equal to the required value, I am going to increment counter. So now let's move on to the program. So here I will create the count variable as 0. Now I will use two loops that is nested loop for this logic which I have explained. So first loop will be for i. i will start from 0 to the end of the array. Now for the inner loop as I have mentioned it will start from i plus 1th location till the end of the array. So I will say int j equal to i plus 1 
j less than a dot length and then j plus plus so now what we were supposed to do is we were supposed to check the value present at i and the value present at j these are the pairs which we'll be forming so in this case we have to check if the pair is giving me the sum of 6 so i'll check if a of i plus a of j this is the pair which we have formed is giving me sum if it is giving me sum i'm going to increment the count variable by one so that's all we have to do after this loop is complete we have to simply print this value so that's all if you learned something from this video please leave a like and consider subscribing to my channel thank you